Hey everybody, welcome to Skills Build Training YouTube channel. Myself Talha and this channel is all about showing you how to become an IT pro really fast. So in this video, we're gonna learn Visual Studio Code including web development setup, top extensions, themes, settings, and tips and tricks. First of all, download and install VS Code. To download it, go to the official website and click the download button. To install it, just follow the steps given on the screen and you're good to go. Now let's talk about the top extensions that we have in VS Code. Number one, Code Runner. This is one of the basic extensions that you should install as it helps you run the code of any programming language. Just go to the extension area and search for Code Runner. Click on it and install it and you're good to go. Number two, better comment. This extension allows you to comment on your code in a much more sophisticated way. Because the default color of comments in VS Code is gray, sometimes it gets blurry as all the comments are in the same color. Better Comment allows you to have comments in different colors and you will be able to identify them in your code more easily. Number 3 Live Server If you are into web development and you want to test your web pages, this extension is for you. This extension creates a local server on your system and allows you to see the changes in code in real time. Number 4 Remote SSH this extension allows you to use any remote machine with an SSH server as your development environment. This makes it much easier to develop and or troubleshoot in a wide variety of scenarios. You also don't need any source code on your local machine because the extension runs commands and other extensions directly on the remote machine. Number 5 Bookmarks VS Code has line numbers to keep track of our code easily, but bookmarks allows you to add bookmarks to your code helping you quickly navigate and easily jump back and forth. Additionally, it allows you to select regions of code between bookmarked code, which is quite useful for something like log file analysis. So these are some extensions that every beginner should install after installing the VS Code. Now let's talk about the tips and tricks and some settings we should do before coding in VS Code. Command palette, if you press Ctrl plus P in VS Code, it will open the command palette for you. And from there, you can access almost anything in your VS Code. For example, all the themes and extensions can be accessed from the command palette. Run any command. If you use a right angle bracket in the command palette, you can run any VS Code command directly from there. You can also use any command for the installed extensions. Now let's talk about multi-line editing. What if you want to change a variable at multiple places in one code? So you can use a shortcut key, press Ctrl D, just go to the word or variable you want to change, press Ctrl D and it will highlight all the instances of the variable. Again, press the Ctrl D and start typing. Now every instance of the code will be changed. So let's talk about moving a line. So basically you can copy paste and move the line, that is simple. And there is another efficient way. Just go to the line of code that you want to move and keep pressing the Alt key. Now use your arrow keys to move the line of code anywhere in the code. Run in terminal. If you have installed your VS Code for the first time, there is a setting that is disabled by default. When you will try to run your code in the terminal inside the VS Code, the code will not run. For that you have to open the settings and search for run in terminal. Enable this option and now you will be able to run your codes. Open multiple instances of terminal. There will be several times when you will be needing to open multiple instances of terminal inside your VS Code. Fortunately, we can do that inside our VS Code as well. First of all, to open the terminal in VS Code, press Ctrl plus backtick. After that, here we have plus icon, click on it and open as many instances as per the need. Not only that, we can also change the name and default shell for it as well. Let's talk about themes. One Dark Pro. One Dark Pro is based on Atom's default One Dark theme and is one of the most downloaded themes for VS Code. For people who love dark theme, it is for them. GitHub theme. This theme is from GitHub and comes with different options as you can go for light, dark, and default settings for its look. Just download it from extensions and you're good to go. Atom One Dark theme. This one is one of the most prominent and used themes for VS Code. It comes with great feature and it is based on renowned editor Atom. Just search for it in the extension section and install it. Cobalt 2 theme. It is a sublime text theme based on Cobalt. Again, this one is a very prominent theme among dark theme lovers. It comes with a bunch of cool features that you can use. Pale Knight theme. 
The Pale Knight theme is a charming material inspired theme for Visual Studio Code. One of the plus points of this theme is that it has a catchy color scheme. Moreover, most people find this theme super awesome because of its lightweight. Now let's set up our VS Code for our web development. For that, we have to install some extensions. First one is Live Server, which we have already installed. This extension creates a local server and allows you to see the changes in real time. And obviously we need that for web development. The next extension that we need to install is JavaScript Snippet. So just search for it and in the extension and install this one. This will help you with your JavaScript coding as JavaScript will be the major part of your web development. The last extension that we need to install is Bootstrap. Again, just search for it and install it. We are done here with the setup. Let's test the environment. Here we have some code of HTML and have some personalized data inside it. Now let's run this code. Here you see our web environment is working perfectly without any problem. So that's it from this video. Hope you liked it. Please click the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next video.